Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District, London, Ontario, for some half-mile harness racing action. I'm your track announcer, Shannon Sugar Doyle, with you. And right now, we'll go to an HPI play of the day. Let's go to race number six. It's the high five play at a distance of a mile and a sixteenth, full field of nine on the pace. Love the chances here for number one, artistic pick. Four to one on the morning line, so some decent value there. He had traffic troubles in his latest. Finally gets an inside post to work with tonight. Again, he's a must play to use in the super high five. Race six, number one, artistic pick. HBI, play of the day for HBI Bet and Western Fair District. Race one, kickstarts an early pick three play. There is a key scratch in here. I was kind of liking the chances for number two, Brody Scrapper. But he's a scratch. Scratch the two for the opener, and that's going to leave it to the one. Dune Side Sport, another one that gets an improved post tonight. Just got to stay a little bit closer because he's got a good kick in the late stages. The six pay later had that big victory last time out as a favorite. Scott Young stays on for the Spitzigs. 157 and one winner last time out over London. The six pay later. Got to use him in race one. We're on the trot for race two. It's either the two adventure ahead who needed that clean line last time out. Still managed a third. The five whole lot of sugar. Nat Day on board for trainer Pam Forgey. And that one's been second best in her latest two. The third race, I went deeper here. One, two, three, and four, but it's very tough to go against the one Mark Cathy getting that rail advantage now. Uh, solid third last time out. Colin Kelly stays on for Lindsey Kerr. Early pick four starts in that third race. Stay four deep in there. Went even deeper in race number four, the preferred three event. You've got number one Reel coming in who last started February 27th, so there's been some time missed. Seven, it's a big secret. Uh, he'd be jumping off the page here a little more if he was leaving from the center of the gate, but he's got that outside post to contend with once again. Went a first up trip over Flamborough last time out, just a s little bit of a s flattening out in the late stages, finishing fifth. It's a big series, though. His A game could win that fourth race. Fifth race, one and five. Race number six, one, two, and eight. Got to use that one artistic pick final leg of an early pick four. Late pick four starting in race seven. I'm deep in the first couple of legs. Five deep for races seven and eight. Three deep and the ninth. It's all going to hinge on number two. It's all about Mock. If we can get there in race number ten, we'll need him to go all the way likely. He loves to be on the lead. A gutsy second place finisher last time out. Going to take a short break right now. We'll come back with a whole lot more. We'll talk about the who's hot for drivers and trainers here. We'll also bring back the replay for artistic picks latest here in London. Stick around. HPIBet.com. Access, rewards, and more. Hey, welcome back to the pregame show, everyone. You're watching Race Day at the Raceway, Western Fair District, London, Ontario's Half Mile Harness Racing Action. Track announcer Shannon Sugardoll with you. Wagering menu for tonight, setting up with a low 15% takeout on the pick threes, the pick fours, and the super high five plays. We feature the programs, video, replay, selections, all up on our website westernfairdistrict.com go to wagers they are that pick three play right up front race number one featuring the $2,500 guarantee pool no problem hitting that guarantee that pick four or the pick three pool early pick three it's been well over $5,000 as far in 2018 the average pool the pick fours begin in races three and seven and we always guarantee those pools at five thousand dollars high fives with the added distance of a mile and a sixteenth they're featured in races six and ten tonight with full fields of nine who's been hot at the raceway as far as drivers go rob shepherd's been doing it and doing it well 15 victories over the last 10 racing days for shepherd jay harris right there with him with 14 scott coulter has been in the mix since the start of 2018. Alfie Carroll's always around. Nick Stewart rounding out the top five for drivers with seven victories over the last 10 race days. As far as trainers go, 
Richard Morrow has been in a few times over the last few weeks. He's got five victories. Corey Johnson has been four for four. He's actually five for five in 2018. Uh, Don McWhite uh, has been on a really good run here in London. We'll see him, I believe, tomorrow. Uh, Mike Weller's got four victories. Mike Sumner, Ashley Hensley both went three for four over the last 15 racing days here in London. I mentioned we would bring up the replay from today's play of the day. Uh, his latest in London was a week ago on Monday. We're going to keep the sound down on this one. We're going to pick it up at the halfway point. We're watching the six horse artistic pick. He's sitting last here for Colin Kelly as they begin to pair up with three eights left to go. London Sealster is leading in the two hole, his phone in, and now challenging on the outside. That'll be creeping for Steve Hudon. In this race, there are five starters that we'll see in race number six tonight, the Super High Five event. Going up on the wide side into the final turn, that's going to be Navy Lieutenant getting the marching orders there. Navy Lieutenant's going to be four wide into this final turn, and you see the six. Artistic Pick is following on his helmet there, following on the Rooney helmet. He's out there four deep. Colin Kelly, though, he thinks better of it. Goes down to the inside here. He's still sitting fifth or sixth, turning for home. He's going to salvage a third. They're not going to catch the pace setter, London Sealster. And London Sealster will not face this group tonight. He is uh, going elsewhere this week. Second best here, phone in again. The six artistic pick from last with some road traffic there. Uh, road trouble. And uh, still managed a third. He gets that inside advantage tonight. And uh, always in the hunt. He is a must play in that race six super high five. He's a must play to complete tonight's early pick four. Artistic pick, the rail horse in race six. Put a big circle around him. Let's go back and do some recapping now. Pick three play. We're going to call this one the TVG pick three. It's the first three races tonight featured on TVG and, of course, all ten through HPI. So this race one, TVG pick three. Using the one, Dune Side Sport, who gets that rail advantage to work with tonight. He's just got to stay close because he's got a really nice kick coming late in the mile. Uh, one and six in the opener. Then over into the second race, it's the two and five. Number two, Adventure Ahead. He just needed a clean line last time out. Still managed a third with that clean line. I believe he's good to go tonight. Race two, the two, Adventure Ahead. And uh, again, the five, whole lot of sugar. She's been second best in her latest two third race I'm four deep in there the one Mark Cathy is the one that kind of stands out gets that rail advantage to work with off a solid third last time out from an outside post seven third race does begin tonight's early pick four still on the same four there over into race number four I went deep the one reel and the seven it's a big secret they do stand out but reel hasn't raced in a while and of course seven it's a big secret has to overcome the outside post. For minor upset possibilities, maybe the two, the Lone Ranger, the three, Rough Trade, the six, the Twilight Zone has been really good in the recent weeks. Over into the fifth race, it's the one, Sportsman of the Year, or the five, Beverly Hillbilly. Beverly Hillbilly at a post five, Rob McIntosh sending that one out, adding Lasix tonight. That, a full brother to Thinking Out Loud, of course, Thinking Out Loud, Standing at Sealster Farms for a stud fee of $4,000. Five, Beverly Hillbilly, full brother to Thinking Out Loud at a post five in the fifth race. One to think about there. The sixth race, one, two, and eight. Again, it's the big circle around one artistic pick with that much improved post. Always in the hunt. Always getting good value on him as well. He's four to one in the morning line. Hope for that come post time. Race seven, it's the madbarn.com feature race. Going to go deep. In races seven and eight, uh, number five, Mock Apollo. It's been a long while since that one's been to the winner's circle. Uh, part of Greg Gangle's track facts tonight, he's noting that Mock Apollo has not won a race since 2014. It was late in 2014, December, when he last got to the winner's circle. Now off the claim, Mock Apollo, the nine-year-old, hasn't won a start in over half of his career. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, over into race number eight. We're five deep in there. The ninth race. One, four, and six. Vegas Rich, Mundutch, Bet on Art, all value players there in race nine. If we get to the tenth, all we need is number two. It's all about Mock to bring his A game. He's been real sharp in his last couple of outings. Just beat last time out in London. It's all about Mock. 
And uh, Bruce Richardson looking to top that high five in race number 10. Cameraman Trev standing by with his play on the day. What do you got for us, Trev? Race two, number two, Adventure Ahead. He's with me. Why do you like this horse? Well, he's, he's a fan of Lauren House, of course, but he's going with the hunch play. He's just got a hunch that Adventure Ahead is going to show up there tonight for the cameraman. That's race two, number two. It's pub night at the top of the fair. No reservation required. The doors are open. Fabulous pub-style menu, of course, including those barbecue pork back ribs, shepherd's pie, fish tacos, and so much more. It's another edition of Survivor Tuesday tomorrow at the Raceway, brought to you each and every week by HBI Bet. Last week's guest on the pregame show on that Tuesday, Jeff Lilly, uh, he wanted to play that Survivor. He, I got him down, and I got him entered. He just missed winning Survivor Tuesday all by himself. He needed Driving the Dragon to show up in the top three, and she was fourth. Uh, Jeff Lilly, again, a heck of a job on the pregame show last week. Seven winners and two second places and a fourth from the 10 races. So, uh, yeah, Survivor Tuesday, free to play each and every week. Again, brought to you by HBI Bet, a chance for you to win your way to the grand finale on Camelot Classic Night, our final Saturday in May. Should be a great time. Closing boards. Everything you need is on our website, westernfairdistrict.com slash raceway. You'll get program selections, video replays, ticket ideas, and more. Ten races featured tonight in London. Again, the first three on TVG. We're glad they're with us. All ten on HBI. Good luck tonight.